The house is about to burn down. Yeah, it's, it's actually very sad. Thank you all, but there's nothing more we can do. The big house fire is something we've been aiming for for really a, quite a long time, but it will take us two nights to shoot it because we only have about five hours a night of actual darkness here in Scotland in May. In an ideal world with stunts and special effects and everything that goes on, we'd spend more time. But, you know, I think what's great about the show is the cast and the crew always pulls together. We've got a lot to get in that period of time, and so we've been working a lot in prep on storyboarding, planning every beat of the scene, not just of the fire, but the kind of uh, character journeys that they're going through as their house is burning. It was kind of sad, actually, seeing this yeah. property burnt down. That you know, we spent a long time there and it's such a beautiful location. Yeah, I mean, it does feel like, you know, we're saying goodbye to a few of our sets. It is actually a beautiful sequence. It looks really cool. We were burning a lot of what is Claire's surgery. We're going to have practical fire coming out of the windows. We'll have VFX fire to add to it. It's a lot of departments really planning very thoroughly to pull something like this off. The way they did it, it was really amazing. We had a big fire engine. It's taken us two weeks to install all the fires. Uh, we've had numerous safety checks with fire departments. We did a LiDAR scan of the whole building. Then we, we can break it up. So if you want the roof collapsing or a shutter's falling off, we use the CG model to do that. Special effects, flames on the bottom floor. And then we would enhance with visual effects, CGI flames on top. The explosion was good fun. I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it? It was very good. Fun. Flying off the steps. Yeah, you did all your own stunts in I this did. Sequence. I did all my own one stunt. I'm the one who came up with the idea for them to leap off the porch. And we showed it to Katrina, and she went, yeah, I'm going to do it. And I was so thrilled. They are heroes. They took this leap together. Sam and Cat have always done their own stunts, a lot of it, when they can. You always think you make it as comfortable for them as possible, but making sure it looks good. And they did a fantastic job, and they loved it so much that they wanted to go again. But you actually did another stunt in this. What was that? There's a lot of bucket carrying. <laughs> and um, I thought you were particularly good at that. I, I worked really hard on that. <laughs> yes. But it was amazing. We had obviously the core Fraser family, but then we had a little bit of the community coming back together, which was quite cool. The actors being in it, working bucket brigade, and, and all of our cats are worn out by the end, running back and forth from a well to the house, put out this fire. I mean, that's acting, but that's real work as well. We'll be supporting them with doubles and other stunt performers, but the majority of the stuff, it's going to be them on the front line, the actors. Your hair smells of smoke, Sassanak. Everything smells of smoke. So we've got to burn it and make sure that we've got absolutely nothing left for this house, and then we've got to take the house down and build the fire aftermath set. Who would have thought a house full of candles and ether would eventually yeah. <laughs> get burnt down? It's strange, isn't um, it? I know. If only they'd known, if only yeah. someone had warned them. Mm. Mm. Bloody newspapers never get anything right.